My intellect is without limit. Spikes back, school phase MTG. So as of recording, this is June 3rd. It's the day before the bannings take effect. Everybody knows Agent of Treachery and Fires of Invention got the hammer. So the deck that I had that I was going to rank up with this season, I had to scrap it because it was a Fires deck. Um, I decided to run with um, my humans list that I worked on with one of my protégés. I have a 12-year-old magic student who actually made mythic with this list um last season so it's a pretty solid list um me and her worked on it together got it finalized so um there isn't a sideboard for it because she's strictly been playing this in best of one um but sideboard options aren't hard to figure out so this is a mardu humans list um i have seen humans lists floating around here and there but um i haven't really paid too much attention to them so i don't really know what other lists um have in them per se but um, this is my list, so let's get into the deck. Um, I got four Giant Killer. Giant Killer is, he's a human, and he's removal, so he serves dual purpose in this deck. I like the card in here a lot. Um, it turns out to be very useful more often than not, so it's a, it's a good card to have in the deck. Um, four Hero of Precinct 1. Uh, automatic in any humans deck really um, especially considering we're, we're three colors so we're playing a lot of multicolor spells uh, four dire tactics of course in humans deck um, generals and force of four uh, this card is it puts in some serious work in the deck um, we, we're running a lot of legends in here a lot of legendary humans so a lot of times if you if you're up against board wipe decks then the general enforcer will die you'll probably lose your pre scene one and your tokens or whatnot but uh, often than not, the legendaries that remain in play are enough to go ahead and finish off your opponent because by the time they get to where they're trying to clear the board with a with a Storm's Wrath or a Shatter the Sky, um, clearing off just the non -le the the non legendary humans is often not enough. I mean, the, the legendaries will stick around and they'll often be enough to finish off your opponent. So we're running four generals and forcer. Um, three Banishing Light for added removal. Uh, four Lava Brink Venturer. Uh, this card is really good. Um, I've been surprised by the effectiveness of this card. Um, at first, I didn't really like it because I was like, ah, oh, you know, you get to, yeah, you get to pick even or odd, but they'll always have the other, you know, and that'll end up making this card feel weaker than what it actually is. But it, you don't often run into that issue. So, and then when, when you do, a lot of times it's a 3-3, three, three, and then if you have General Kudrow out, then, you know, it's a 4-4, four, four, so um, it's nothing to sniff at. So this card's actually been very effective. Um, I'm running one Tyrannica, Tyrannica, uh, I think that's how you say Tyrannica Okroin Veteran. Um, only one copy, but I like it when I do get it. I just don't want to see multiples of it, so... Uh, it is good, especially with General's Enforcer. Uh, General's Enforcer into any one of these three drop legendaries is is often, it puts your opponent behind very quickly and they have trouble dealing with it because they can't just clear the board. They have to deal with General's Enforcer first. So it puts them in a predicament. Uh, three General Kudro of Dranith, um, all-star guy. Uh, any humans deck that doesn't run him is not, a good humans deck so <laughs> you've got to be running general kudro he's a lord um he exiles things from the graveyard when he comes into play um you can sack two humans we can sack our tokens and get rid of something a big creature when we need to so he puts in serious work uh to judith uh legendary and gives us an extra pump she's kind of like a half of a lord so and when they kill our non-token stuff they they have to eat one damage so she's good in the deck uh, Tajik, uh, All Star. If you go Generals Enforcer into Tajik, now they have to deal with you know uh, a Tajik that's they can't just kill um, a, a Generals Enforcer that's now bigger that's going up to be a three four. Um, puts in serious work. Things can get out of hand very quickly. Um, the most powerful card in the deck is going to be Hactos by far, um, especially with Generals Enforcer out because it basically be, it basically becomes a unblockable in they can't remove it it, it ju they just have no answer for it so um yeah getting him out with generals and force on the field it, it can be backbreaking for the opponent 
and then I'm running to Outlaws, Outlaws Mer Merriment. Um, I surprisingly I don't draw this card very often, but when I do, uh, it's it's very effective. Um, it's a four drop, and we don't want too many four drops in our deck because we're kind of like a low to ground mid range style deck. So uh, we don't want too many four drops. So I'm only running two of, but when it when it does surface. Um, it's good, especially if you got General Kudro out. It's, you know, he's giving them all the buffs. So, um, yeah, that gets out of hand real quickly. Um, and then as far as the land base, I got one castle, uh, Ardenvale, uh, three plain, three swamp, two mountain, three godless shrine, one temple of silence, three blood crib, one temple of malice, uh, two sacred foundry, one temple of triumph, three survive triumph and two fable passage so that gives us uh 25 land uh yeah like i said i, I don't have a sideboard built out for this because uh, me and my my uh my student we've only been using this in best of one um i'll probably get a sideboard out together for it because I'm, i i do plan on playing this in best of three um in ranked so um i played this in ranked all day today in best of one um, I went through the first two tiers. I went through all of tier one and I went through tier, uh, I mean, excuse me. I went through all of tier four and I'm in tier three and I think I'm on the last tick of tier three. Um, the only decks that I lost to with this deck were, um, fires decks and decks that are still running agent. Um, you know, people trying to get those last hoorahs with those cards out of the way now. So, um, yeah, that, those are the only decks that I, that I recall losing to other than that. Um, I pretty much ran over everything else that people are trying out in standard. So this would be a good deck to start out with um, moving into the changed meta um, that's taking that's coming into effect on June the 4th. Um, it's a simple deck, not overly complicated. So people that like simpler style decks, but powerful, um, this is definitely a viable option. So I definitely recommend trying this out for ranked. Um, and let me know how, it, how you do with it. Uh, but yeah, enough of... Talking about it, let's get into the action. Excellent hand. Don't get him like this too often. Mr. Sky Nomad. Yurion. Man, they're playing against a lot of Yurion decks today. I'll go ahead and get this down tap. A lot of Yurion decks. A lot of Agent decks. People trying to get their last hoorahs in. Yurion's gonna be so bad after today. I guess maybe it'll still be good like if you play a main deck. Just not as a companion. The, co the companion mechanic is gonna... Oh! This information campaign. Alright, let me get rid of a giant killer. Um... I think I just want to get General's Enforcer down here. Uh, yeah. But yeah, the companion mechanic is going to be... It's like, so bad now. Because essentially it's not even like a, a free 8th card anymore. You got to like, you got to pay to draw it. So, it's technically not an 8th card anymore. Makes it much, much less attractive to play with. So I suspect we'll be seeing less companion decks. Oh. I don't like my enforcer. Do you, Mr. Frozen Fire? Oh, the charming prince. The handsome guy. I have some handsome guys here. Tajik and General Kudro. Pretty handsome guys. All right, let's keep that there. Um, I think uh, let me go ahead and get this handsome guy down now. Give all my guys the buff. All right, swing in. You can block with your prince if you'd like. I'd prefer if you did. So, all right. Play some. Oh no, he can't play Sky Nomad there. Oh, it's another another handsome guy. He's got two handsome guys now. Trying to get all the ladies. Trying to get them to to charm my my hero, with Precinct One. 
Alright, um... Yeah, I'll keep that there. Um, I think... Well, I don't, I really don't care if he blocks with his, his princes, so I'm gonna just play Taji. I'll uh, swing in with Tajik and the rest of the guys. Precinct one. I'll give precinct one the bullet, the 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 uh, pump. I'll just leave the general back. I don't think I don't think this Urion deck is running board wipes. Uh, typically. They usually don't. I've seen a couple of maybe. I've very rarely have I seen your your index run board white. Sorry, I'm, so I'm not too worried about a board white. Might be a bad idea. <clears throat> Might be running Dream Trawler though. All right, let me go ahead and he might have a counter. It's possible. So let me let me attempt to exile his prince here. Alright, if he'd have countered that, then I had tactics to go for a second move. I can go in for the kill now. He must have an effect, because he ain't conceded yet. So let's let's find out what he's got. Give it to my token. Alright. I'm going to get your, your two two blockers here. Um, I could just kill one of them and then kill him, but... Well, I want to be a nice guy. I, I want to. I want to give him an, a turn to do something. I want. I'm gonna give him a turn to play as Urian, cause I'm a nice guy. I'm, I'm doing my public service today. I'm gonna let you play your Urian. Could remove his token and kill him, but I want him to get his last pleasures of playing the Sky Nomad. Play your Urian, and I'll, I'll I'll exile your Urian. Cause Urion can't save you. Can't save you. Go ahead, play him. Can't save you. There we go. Alright. Go ahead and exile all your stuff. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna discard the uh giant killer. Don't need him. Right on schedule. As always, Teferi. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Alright. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Sky Nomad. Play my general. Oh! Alright. Face. Hey, I was a nice guy. Alright, been waiting on this guy. Kept the two lander. I like keeping two landers with Squire Lands. It's kind of my thing. Some mono red. Man, have, people aren't tired of mono red. Like, it's like a three year old deck. People still trying to play it. Come on, man. Play something else. Do something different. Expand your horizons. Mono Red is so so five years ago. Go ahead and exile a Steam King. Like Mono Red, the Cavalcade Mono Red is just not it's not the deck that it used to be. Like it's not as viable as it used to be, so I don't I don't understand why there's still people still trying to still trying to play it, but Alright. So now uh I can block a Steamkin. Don't gotta worry about nothing. Oh. Alright, I gotta gotta hopefully draw something to take care of that. Um well he might have an effect here. Oh crap. Alright. Alright, that's good. Well, 
Oh, I should have played my human first. Oh man. Gave him gave him free three damage there, but Alright, even. It's okay. Make misplays sometimes, but it's okay. Oh, it happens to us all. Shock my face. Oh, definitely blocked. Man, it's enough lands. Don't need any more of those. Miss Judith. Oh. Wanna fry Miss Judith? Alright, well she'll poke your face. Poke. Pokey poke. Are you not gonna attack this time? Why not? Why aren't you attacking? Why aren't you attacking, Marcus? Attack! Alright. General's enforcer. That's, that's what I needed. Alright. I can swing in now. Because I, uh, I can block with Judith. It's not looking for good for you now, Marcus. I bet he's not even going to pay attention. He's still going to swing in with a steam can thinking that I... Uh, he can he can do something to me. I'm gonna make a token here too. Attempt to kill his steam can if he attacks with it. All right, let me make a token. Block with the token and my Judith. Pretty sure he might his last card might be some kind of combat effect, but most I'll lose is my token. That's fine. Alright. Alright. Oh, giant killer. Alright. Let's go ahead and kill Steam King. <laughs> Can't keep this. Uh yeah. Put back the uh the hack dose. Uh, not a land. Kutana. That's a land. Um, man, I probably should have probably should play pass passage first, but oh well. All right. Um, I'm just gonna keep shocking myself here. I'm actually okay if he blocks this. I I I want to cut off his. Fast mana. Fast mana means big creatures. Alright. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and fetch up. Planes. Judith down. Now if he plays something big here, I can... I got tactics. I got tactics. Yeah, I got tactics for your, uh... Love... Your love struck. I must take your beast away from his love. Alright. Keeping him from building up a board of green things. It's good for me. Oh, that's not good for me. All right, that's that's got to go. All right. Uh, don't need any more lands. Don't need any more lands. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna hold the land. The land bluff. Oh man. Well, at least I got banishing life for her. Get rid of Nissa. She's definitely gotta go. Forgive me. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end up eating three again here.
Quintana playing some mono green. I like mono green. I'm all about mono green. Beat face. Trying to figure out what, what your next move is, Quintana. I don't have very many options. All I have is one option right now. Hectos. Your options are greater than mine. Alright, that's... Uh, oh yeah, I don't want to eat more damage by being greedy, so let me just go ahead and play Hactus. Alright, he's on four. That's good. Uh, man. He's got Ceratops. He might have Questing Beasts. Four is probably a bad number for me to land on right now. I'm gonna give your creature some counters. Oh. Oh, <laughs> what? You try to make them fight? <laughs> oh man, oh uh, nice. <laughs> All right, uh, play out, play my hand out here. Let's go ahead and kill Vivian. She's got to die. You haven't seen the last. All right, man. My hand's on the field. I have no trickery. Oh. Well, at least it doesn't cost four. All right, and I keep getting lands. All right. Well, let's go ahead and swing in with Hactos since he can't do anything about him. Got the Hactos clock going. Uh, no wait, I don't. I don't want to swing with Judith. She's, she's not a profitable attack anyway. No need swinging with her. Keep her for blocking duty. Alright. He's building up a board here. Still, still no 4 drop though, so you can't do anything about Hectos. Alright. Uh, let me go ahead and make a token here. Exactly, Paradise Druid. Um, could game block here and kill the troll, but then he'll get it back. Uh, might as well, might as well get that out of the way now. Um, oh, uh, no, you know what? I think I just want to just block with just Judith. Oh no, I don't. I don't want to block anything. Well, yeah, let me block with Judith because she's indestructible. And uh, I'll take five. The reason why I'm doing that is because if I if I kill all my tokens right now, then he'll have profitable attacks because his life total is still high. So let me let me hit him now, get his life total down. So that way it's not profitable for him to swing all out at me. Alright. Alright, now this 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 turn I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the troll. But I'll I'll lose my tokens, but I'll kill the troll, and it won't be profitable for, for profitable for him to swing all out at me. Got all the great hinges here. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's kill the troll. If he tries to get it back, then um, I'll just exile it. <laughs> Alright. I can exile it. I'll get a token. That means I'll have three creatures up. So if he if he swings at me with all three of his creatures, I have three blockers. Swing with Hactos right now. Get him down to seven. And that uh that puts me in firm control here. Alright. 
See, if he tries to get his troll back, I'm gonna exile it. No? Alright. Well, rather you not have the troll, so. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get rid of it. I don't, I don't know why he waited till his turn to do it. I guess maybe he was trying to wait and see if I was gonna attempt to exile it and then he was gonna get it back in response, but no. Yeah, thank you. Gonna swing all out? What you got in your hand? Got a creature? No? Got nothing. Oh, uh, I can't keep this. Uh, Alright, I can keep this. I'm gonna put back uh the mountain. I don't want the basic. See what this guy's doing here. Oh, that's the uh, the teamer triome. Probably playing some reclamation. If I was a betting man, I'd say that's probably what it is. Uh, go ahead and I'm gonna get Judith down because uh, Tajik will pump her next turn. I don't see any other teamer decks other than Reclamation right now. People are trying to get ready for Reclamation after today. So, a lot of people are playing that. You used to have a, a good chance of seeing teamer elementals, but that's kind of going to the wayside now. Alright. I'm going to fetch up a... So I fetch up a Plains. Yeah. And, uh, let's go ahead and get Tajik. And, uh, swing in. Swing in for seven here. Alright. You got your reclamation? Yes or no? Let's find out. Yeah. Of course. You always have it. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, try to draw the counter spell here. Rather than counter this, I know he's got one. Yeah, they always have one. All right, I'm gonna play the giant killer because if he has Storm's Wrath, he's still just dead. The Storm's Wrath won't uh, it won't kill Judith and the giant killer. He'll still have lethal, face lethal. All right, good deal. I can keep this. Oh, how do you say that person's name? Navi say listen. All right. I guess maybe that's a, it's a kid. And Navi tells him to listen. Oh man. I'm gonna take my general's enforcer. That would be a logical choice. Alright, General's Enforcer gone. Uh, Alright. Well, let's go ahead and get the Venturer down. I'll choose even. He didn't play anything on turn three, so maybe he's got some even stuff. That's not even. But, uh, I'll get rid of that anyway. With General Kugo. Oh! I like the general. The general looks like, uh... He looks like the guy from Jumanji. The old Jumanji movie. The one that, uh, the hunter. He looks like the hunter, like, aged, like, 20 more years. <laughs> Person playing weird like ramp, live color ramp. There's five color ramp, five color good stuff or something. All right, let's let's get rid of your uh, Cavalier. I don't even want him dying. 
I want you to get nothing back from the grave. Alright. I don't know what else this, this person's trying to do here. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man, that sucks. Alright. Well. Go ahead and uh, get Tajik. Get General Kudro down. Uh, let's get rid of the... Oh man, I, I I wasn't trying to do that. I wanted the I wanted the moth. Man, my mouse, my mouse is slipping here. Well, this is uh this is over. Navi say, listen, listen to your cavalier dying. <laughs> there you have it, Mardu humans. Super simple deck, but strong, powerful. Um, should suit people well that prefer to pilot less complicated decks. Um, so it definitely can produce results. Um, I think it'll be a viable deck option now that Agent and Fires are gone. So definitely give it a spin. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, appreciate all the support and see you guys next time.